At the height of his fame, his flamboyant, loquacious manner made Russell Brand one of the most sought-after figures in entertainment. While he'd openly joke about replacing his addiction to drugs with sex, now he stands accused of having a much darker side, controlling, abusive and predatory. Claims which Brand vehemently denies, made by four women to the Times and Channel 4's dispatches, at a time when he was one of the most recognisable faces on British TV and attempting to conquer Hollywood. I've never, ever spoken publicly about this before. Russell seems untouchable. In the case of one woman, an American who claims Brand raped her in his home describes being stuck underneath the painting and he's pushing up against me. I can't move and I told him, get off, get off. Another woman who alleges Brand sexually assaulted her while he was living in Hollywood claims, I was screaming and I was like, what are you doing? Stop, please, you're my friend, I love you, please don't do this, I don't want to do this. One woman alleges when she was 16, Brand would send cars to collect her from her secondary school during their three-month relationship and the driver once said, please, I'm asking you not to go in there, you could be my little girl and I would want someone to do this for her. She said he had such a sad look in his eyes. Then there is an ex-girlfriend who details an alleged sexual assault at Manchester's Lowry Hotel, saying he pushes boundaries, controlling other people to fulfil personal perversions for the sake of dominance or for the sake of something. Preempting the story on social media, Brand has strongly denied the claims, claiming it's all a conspiracy. Amidst this litany of astonishing, rather baroque attacks are some very serious allegations that I absolutely refute. These allegations pertain to the time when I was working in the mainstream, when I was in the newspapers all the time, when I was in the movies. And as I've written about extensively in my books, I was very, very promiscuous. Now, during that time of promiscuity, the relationships I had were absolutely always consensual. True or not, the allegations raise questions not only for Brand, but also those who employed him. This is Big Brother's Big Mouth! <laughs> Channel 4 accused of ignoring complaints on Big Brother's Big Mouth that Brand was pursuing audience members for sex, who tonight said they're appalled and looking into it. And the BBC, with insiders claiming multiple complaints were made about Brand's behaviour and nothing appeared to be done. But the corporation pointing to how it handled Brand's Saxgate scandal as demonstrating how seriously it was prepared to act. I think the attempt by the BBC to sort of justify its position and say we were just one of a number of employers is not going to hold water at the end of the day. And I do think that there's going to be wider questions asked. Brand maintains that while he was promiscuous, his sexual encounters have always been consensual. The Metropolitan Police tonight declining to be drawn on whether they're investigating. Katie Spencer, Sky News.